Testes, testes. One, two, three. It's um. There it it's is. It's, it's, it's it just clicked over. It's nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock. It's nine a.m. It is nine a.m. Isn't it? And that when what? Did we agree on a time today? Yeah, I believe we said nine a.m. Megan, did we say nine a.m.? We did Megan say nine, said, and I'm here. I'm sitting in my chair. Yeah, I've got a chair. Uh, I'm occupying my chair. Yeah, and yet this chair is. Uh, mm. This chair is empty. Yeah. Um, mm. Well, now this is the first edition of the video podcast. Yeah, isn't this exciting? Uh, this room is uh, awful. Yeah. Yeah. It's we're a gonna have to. And it's a little characterless. Mm-hmm. Although I'm noticing in your shot, Glenn, you see my giant belly that's kind your of giant cool. my, belly no no uh, behind you oh 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 oh! i thought you meant like the one that you're sporting now no 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 oh, well that's under flexing. the table flexing under the table. no it's flexing. is this you know i was thinking about that well first of all i want to say that one of the things i find very funny about this is like <laughs> we're no longer allowed to talk to each other right because every time i start to tell you something yeah you're like, like save it for the podcast save yeah. it for the, for the podcast um, mm-hmm. Now, is that because uh, uh, we think we're that interesting? No, no. I think it's that we're afraid we're going to run out of things to talk about. Oh, yeah. No, you're absolutely so this right. Be, right. Yeah. So just anything. anything. Yeah. Just talk about anything. For example, Charlie not being here. A missing man. A missing yes. man is actually very interesting. Yes. Now, I am concerned. Um, mm. I am concerned for how interesting the podcast is going to be without Charlie. If you think about <laughs> the show itself. Mm-hmm. If we didn't have Charlie, now don't tell him this. Well, he already knows. No, no, he, he knows. He, he know, but he, yeah, but that's the thing. He's, he, he doesn't need to hear that because he's. He already knows it. It's a whole thing. Without Charlie, the show doesn't really work. You know what I mean? Yeah. Probably wouldn't have gotten to season 15 without Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me think we should wait on the podcast. But no. No, no, no. We, we, this is the tradition. If you don't show up on time, you, you, you lose. Yeah. You lose. So here we go. You snooze, you lose. Now, let's get into it, Rob. Um, I'm seeing a cane. Glenn, I was. Is that a cane? Is that this a, is a cane. Qualifies for a cane. Yep. Okay. Now mm-hmm. I, this is my first day off uh, crutches. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And I got my, myself in a shoe instead of a boot. Mm. I I tore some ligaments yeah. in, in my foot. Um, but I was I was so adamant on being on time for this podcast. I was supposed to get a ride here, and I was supposed to get picked up, and. Um, the, now, the, the person who was driving me was coming from the same area of town that Charlie is. Mm. So I think there's some pretty bad traffic. But that's no excuse because traffic in L.A., how novel. That's a given. That's a yeah. given. Yeah. So uh, he wasn't getting there on time. I texted him. I said, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I'll get there. I'll get there. I said, I can't risk being late for this podcast. And so by I- this, Charlie actually texted us. And yes. said, hey, I might be a little bit late. And you said that won't matter. That won't matter. That won't I matter. I said, this text won't matter. This like text that. won't matter. But then after I sent it, I was still sitting in my driveway <laughs> waiting for my ride. And then I thought, oh, shit. Now I've thrown a gauntlet down. That's right. And now I, my foot that's all <laughs> fucked up is my right foot. That's right. It's your driving it's foot. my driving foot. Yeah. That's but, everyone's driving foot. Yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> well, yeah. So unless you... <laughs> I hope. Well, unless you're driving automatic, then it's both, I guess. But If you're driving what? Or if you drive a uh, manual, then it's uh, both feet. Is it not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. That right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, either way, your left foot is generally not your driving foot. That's your point. Yeah. Um, but I thought I gotta. Now I've thrown the gauntlet down. I got. I just got to get in the car and go. Yeah. And yeah. so I did. And as I did, my ride was passing me. By, like literally, we just passed <laughs> each other. And I locked so, eyes with him, and he knew. <laughs> <laughs> what a picture, you guys! Like just the 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 like turn as you guys. He get was it. driving so fast that like he almost hit <laughs> my, hit me and like. Like weaved out of the way. Okay, so basically what we're learning today is you didn't want to risk being late for the podcast so that so that the same thing that we're doing to Charlie right now wouldn't happen to you. Yes. But you were willing to risk your life and Brian's Brian's life mm-hmm. and to get here foot. on time. And, yes. There was no way that I was going to be late for this podcast. Yeah. Well, um, here we are. This is the video portion. You know, it's it it is it is like I now it's like when someone has been late and I haven't been late yet, which is crazy. Uh, that is because I tr- traditionally have I used know. to be always be of all of us the latest. I know. Um, but now we're six minutes in, and we got to start talking about the episode. I think. Yeah. Unless you got some other shit to talk I, well, about. You know I mean, what I think we should talk about? What is this office? When this is the video, this is is this our set? This is a piece of shit. Uh, yeah, we can't do this. We 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 can't do this. Uh, we're we're going to step it up, guys. This what is, is this a, behind me. 
Uh, oh, there's, well, there's Meg, though. Everybody can see Meg. Yeah. Oh, no, she hid. Oh, she hid. Come on, Megan. Well, she finally has a microphone, by the way. Oh, yes. I see. I didn't see that before. Okay, that's We've good. Been, now, now, to be clear, listener. Is it on if or off? If everybody <laughs> assumes that our, um, our goal in this podcast was to silence women by not giving them a microphone, <laughs> you are sorely mistaken. We have been begging Meg to get on mic from day one. That's and all right. you can hear is her laughter in the background. Now, we feed off of her la laughter. That's fact, true. I might live for it at this point. Um, yeah. But, but now we can actually see, well, sort of, she's sneaking behind the camera. But anyway, well, that's can, Meg. That's Meg Gans. Can I ask you a question? So uh, when I realized that we were filming this one, I, well, not when I realized it, but when I really thought about it, the reality of it, I was like, oh, shit. Like, I, I, now I have to, like, worry about my hair. Yeah. You know, I got to make sure I get enough sleep because we don't have like hair and makeup. You know what I mean? It's not like a TV show where you have hair and makeup, although maybe we should. Well, we should uh, consider it. We, we should, should consider, consider it. it. By the way, people watch podcasts. Yeah, that's right. That's news why we're doing me. this. Yeah, news to me. That's why we're doing this. Um, well, uh, listener, watcher, um, we apologize for our faces. Uh, well, actually, sorry. I apologize for my face. Rob. Maybe he feels I good about his face. I, I think the problem is for me, and we talked about this also on the podcast, is like, even though you guys don't see me this way, like, I feel like my eyes are, the thing is, is like, I, whenever I post anything on Instagram, mm -hmm. right, there's inevitably like a handful of people that are always like, whoa, you look stoned, man. And I'm like, no, God, that's just my face. <laughs> that's just my eyes. Like, I just have tired looking eyes all the time. And people are like, oh, dude, you must be stoned all the time. And I'm, I'm not. Mm. I'm not. That's just how my eyes look. Well, I'm looking at you now. And they're I, not yeah, too bad. I, no, they're not too bad. I can, see, I can see what you're, yeah, I guess, but I wouldn't have thought. Oh! Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, okay. There right. he is. Well, well, well. Oh, this is well, well. <laughs> well, well. This is out of control. He just sort of strolls in whenever he feels like it. Ooh. Took me an hour from my kid's school to get here. Yeah. Unreasonable. 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 It's not. It is I'm Los not Angeles. Doing it. Take a good look around this office. This is the last time I'm here. <laughs> we'll That's find fair. a new spot. We'll find a new spot. Do you want to express your feelings right now on the yeah. podcast? Yeah. <clears throat> on camera. It's not so much about the traffic that I'm upset with. It's it's knowing <laughs> the joy <laughs> that you guys are going to get out of beating me here. Well, we it's on the first video portion of the podcast. There was uh, an yeah. empty chair just yeah, yeah. sitting there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of great, though. Yeah, yeah, sure. Fine. It's kind of great. No, but I we're the same way. But both of us risked our lives to get here on time today. Basically, like, uh -huh. I didn't. Rob was talking about how, you know, Brian was supposed to pick him up and because of his ankle he's not supposed to be driving my on that foot thing. i told i've torn ligaments but brian foot. was running late so he took a risk and decided to drive with a busted ankle well now we're rehashing stories that the audience has already heard <laughs> <laughs> by the way can i speaking of rehashing stories probably pretty got, boring stories without me here right i would imagine pretty boring talking about we, well, your, your definitely better with you here. We, we, yeah, yeah. we 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 discussed that we did discuss <laughs> we that we discussed that. the fact discussed that it wasn't like gonna be as good without you yeah well um, <laughs> and we also discussed not saying it to you because you would react that way. Exactly. <laughs> we did it anyway. Did it. <laughs> no, what we said was, well, he knows that already, so we don't need to rehash it. And, and then he here brought we it up himself. Uh, well, that's I would feel know. the same about either one of you. It's not a, It's not just a me thing. It's the, the yeah. chemistry of the three of us. It's the dynamic, baby. But, but I was driving over here being like, ah, if I quit, if I quit the podcast, uh, uh huh. Uh -huh. Still, you know, if uh -huh. they were like, no, we're working in this office no matter what. Yeah. Mm. We'd keep going. You'd still have to pay me. We'd fit. Mm. You would. Yeah, it'd be a whole sticky legal thing it'd for be, you. Yeah, it would yeah. just, it ugly. would just be more sense to just pay me. It you would know, get and ugly. it wouldn't be as much fun. It would not be as much it fun. It definitely wouldn't be as it's much a fun. Jiggly ass chair. Look, look at this yeah, shit. pretty jiggly. If this is this a janky office in this a is, janky uh, part of town, uh, Rob, this Apple has money. Get a good office. We're in the Mythic Quest oh, yeah. offices right now, yes. um, and uh, again, I think that this is boy. maybe maybe this is interesting for the viewer now and also the listener no, that people is, think that like really? uh, production offices or writers' offices are are nice and they're not. They're pieces uh, of shit. Some of them are. Yeah. Some of them. Why? You know, like the the, the long running shows, uh, the super long running shows, like It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, usually have like a set office that's like super decorated and stuff like that. We never do that. We just go from office to office, and it usually looks like this. But I feel like it's appropriate for the writing of our show. Yes. Uh, but I do enjoy, like for example, 
somebody at one point had yeah. this wall painted, right? Yeah, and, and, they, and then and then each production came. It was probably some company that you know did marketing. Or why something did they that. do that? What know. was the inspiration behind that? That's awful. It was know. probably like a candle company or something, don't you think? Like uh, or incense yeah, 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 or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can I just bring something up? Also, like speak because you were talking about rehashing old stories. Now I've gotten some feedback from a few people, from a lot of people on my socials, and then very specific feedback from Heath Cullen's wife, Emma, who also has a podcast and is a, and a very intelligent woman. Rob, her one note was, well, for she me. said, well, sure. well, it was, it was, you know, you guys- Don't eat the microphone. You guys know it was- He got rid of the pop card. He's gonna, he's gonna fully- uh, He's definitely gonna suck it at some <laughs> yeah, point. He's gonna gag on that thing. He's gonna gag on that. <laughs> I don't love the cameras. I know it's good for the podcast, but I, don't, I, don't know. I know. I, I just know. like. I don't either. It makes we'll you a little bit more self conscious. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll forget. We'll forget. Like they're more we'll exposed. Forget. Maybe we'll get used to it. Is there a three shot, Meg? Oh, there is a three shot. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Emma's note was. Sorry. Uh, Emma's note was. was um, you know, every time we go to tell a story that that Rob has heard, mm -hmm. he points out, "I've heard this story." Yes. And what we haven't put in the podcast is our response to that, which is these stories aren't for you, Rob. No, they're for the listener who's never heard the fucking stories. Okay, Emma. Yeah, uh, but uh, okay, but, Emma. Let me point something out like, to you. And she's like, and she's like, why is Rob constantly because it's out hilarious that, that we don't remember that? That's which the is point totally of it. True. It's to not, me. By the way, okay, there, there it, was but, a there was an email this morning that you remembered. That, God bless your brain, man. I, I want a little bit of whatever you it, got going on there. That shit drove me crazy when the, I read that last what, night. What, 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 well, there was an email from our manager about some. Someone who wanted to to write something about the show, and oh. he was like, "Does this person have uh, permission to legally write this?" I think it was a book because uh. FX wants to ask them about it because that's, yeah. that's the email said. Yeah. FX wants to go and ask them and, 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 and go I after saw them. the email, read the link. I was like, oh, "I never heard of this thing." You felt the same way, and Rob's yeah. like, "You guys, not only have you all heard it, we were there was an email about it before." And once you said that, you're absolutely right, man. Did you go back? I don't know if you guys went back and looked for it, but I saw no, that change. I didn't change. care. I said, Robert what remembers. That means it's a fact. The, po the point is this. The point is this. I recognize that the stories are for the listener. Okay. But you, but the way that you're telling, so oftentimes you're telling yes, the stories. Yes, because we know how to present a story. And the story is like, oh, you guys, I got to tell you this, right? Not like. Not me. I straight up <laughs> don't already, remember. You guys already know this. You guys already know this. Uh, let me talk. I have We're no talking recollection. to each other. We're talking to each other in the podcast, you fucking. I recognize that. It, but the thing that I find amazing is that you are hearing it for the first time in the moment. You know what an actor does? He pretends We're that he's acting. hearing something for the We're first not time. Acting. This he's, is real life. And you think this isn't a performance? Part of the. <laughs> <laughs> Depending, Buddy. listening back to them, sometimes it is a performance for you. Sometimes, sometimes it's real life, and sometimes if that it's camera's on rolling Mars. and that mic is hot, I'm performing. Okay, just the know thing this. I don't like about the camera is I feel like Spielberg is going to be too shy to pop in because of the cameras. Some no, of our callers I, aren't going to call oh, I see. in. Well, I don't you know. know. Maybe I, I don't know. We can always cut to black when he walks in. Yeah. Just, well, because uh, you know what, he doesn't. He doesn't feel comfortable being recorded. Is that right? true? He so, loves yeah. being behind the camera. Yes, yeah. so well, much clearly. So if he walks in, we cut to black, mm. right? We hear we'll his voice. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll we'll figure it out. I definitely don't want to lose him because he's he he works around here and he likes swinging by every once in a while. And I definitely don't want a, him to feel uncomfortable swinging by because yeah. he's Steven Spielberg. You want to have him on the show. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. And yes. He wants to come on the show, but we got to yeah. make sure the door's open. Same same him. thing with uh, with Brad Pitt. You know what I mean? He's going to walk into the podcast because he has an open invitation to join the podcast. Sure. anytime he wants and uh, we don't want him feeling like oh I'm not in full hair and makeup my, right. I haven't frosted my tips or whatever right. he's doing with his hair this week you know by the way can we talk about this why is it I can see pictures of Brad Pitt with super short hair right and then the next week he can have long hair and a ponytail well, it, what's might, going on? it might be pictures can be taken be, at different yeah, times. The, the thing about pictures. No, 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 no. no. I brought this up. No, once. I saw this. Is he holding a newspaper up with yeah, the date on yeah. it, buddy? What buddy, you, how long do you think it would take you to grow your hair to the point where you could have a a real ponytail, not a little nubbin, but an actual ponytail? Am I Brad Pitt? <laughs> Thirty-five. In minutes. this scenario, you are. <laughs> that guy, the man can do anything. Yeah. <laughs> You're saying Brad Pitt is so awesome that he can grow his hair at a rate. Has he ever let you if down? If anyone could, if anyone could, come on. Brad Pitt. Yeah. So, well, well shoot. Also, I don't know if I should tell this. Are those pictures from a movie? Like, you know, like maybe one is him out at lunch and then he's doing a movie where he has long hair. So they have like an extension in or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you don't know about these photos. Somebody did. Somebody told me once that he was on a red carpet with Brad Pitt where he had a ponytail. 
and the ponytail fell off. <laughs> Get out of here. That's a lie. That's a lie. This he, was somebody who was actually to there. D- Brad down and, a peg, and I won't It's have like it. he takes his hat off. It's got the Rasta dreads, you know, like <laughs> a, sewed into the back. Come on, get the like, Turn guy. that around. Yeah, you're the one asking about that. There right. we go. And, yeah, sorry. We're, this, we're on camera now. What is that? <sighs> it's what just coffee. That? It's cold brew. I, I like cold brew. It looks green. It looks green. Does it look green? Mm-hmm. We'll hold it up to the camera. Oh, you know what? God, you guys. My kids sometimes use these glasses and they put their like they put their paints in it and stuff. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> that's very un you. I that's I, yeah. the what? Do you think that might be it? Well, it's green. Well, we wash them. We wash them. They're kid safe paints. You're fine. You're okay. fine. Right. You're fine. It's just interesting. Live on the edge for once. Mm. Um I mean, your character drinks paint all the time. Yeah. But that's a character. And it's not really paint. And it's and he'd be dead if he were a real person. I don't know. Should we talk about the episode The Gang Runs for Office? I'm excited Charlie's here, though. I think the podcast is <clears throat> is better with Charlie. I think it's thinking. fine that he's here. I'd I say think it's, it's fine. I'd say it's definitely better. Are you... Thanks. 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 I love you. <laughs> I love you. Now, you, I love now you, you you definitely flinched. You did not yeah, like that. I didn't that. want you to yeah. do that. <laughs> you de- I it, feel, wasn't, it wasn't I like it. Was, it was passive aggressive. No, no that's not yeah, true. No, it, it was. It was a bit. It was a bit. That wasn't a genuine. It's, it was a I com- can feel the tenseness in your arm. He doesn't like to be touched. He we doesn't. Do, we it, does it, not it like to be It was a combination of a bit. I don't trust people. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Where we'll, you, let's you know, get into that. Where's that hand going to go? <laughs> where's what that hand headed? Hand? You going to try to give me a noogie? Oh, no. Good luck, man. Good luck, bro. Good luck, dude. I don't want to take that shit Go ahead and try. Now, can we talk about the episode or? Well, you wanna, yes. You want to keep stalling? Should we do it? Well, do I'm, we, yeah. Can I admit? Can I admit something to you? Oh God. Yeah. Go you ahead. Didn't watch you, it. You, I don't you. want to make this about me, um, but uh, but I. So here's the thing. You forgot to watch it. I I no, I didn't forget. Mm-hmm. I didn't forget. I um uh, and I'm going to take full responsibility because I thought maybe I could just lie. Mm. and just pretend and oh just boy. go along with it. But then I thought, man, I gave Charlie so much shit for being late and I knew I was going to, mm-hmm. and we did. And um, <laughs> and now I feel really guilty and I'm just gonna be dead honest with you. I didn't watch the episode. And it's not because I didn't want to, but I have a million reasons, it's but they're just gonna sound like excuses. It's it kind of even... blows this whole thing, man. Like why did I, I uh, drive through an hour of traffic if uh, to talk about, uh, mm. you know, I guess we'll talk about other stuff or maybe Glenn and I can refresh your memory. You have well, a perfect I, memory anyway. I, I you can know. probably I, remember every aspect of it anyway. Well, this, no, well, why, don't, why don't we call Emma? Why don't we have Emma come uh, Emma come talk to us? Maybe she could give us some, give me some notes on how I should approach the, the podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, what Sorry, she doesn't Emma. want you doing is uh, like when somebody starts to tell an interesting story, basically shutting them down. Yes, and you're saying? Yes, and not. Instead of, not, right, yeah. no, why? <laughs> You know, the old improv thing is, yeah, it's yes and, not, no, why are you? <laughs> not not on our show. Our show is not a yes that and show. True. It's that a is... no fuck you. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, well, I also actually remember Charlie very early on, maybe season one. Um, I'd, I've never taken an improv class and I remember like trying to keep up with the improv and for some reason my instinct would be like season one, Charlie would say something really funny and I'd be like, no, you didn't really do that or no, that didn't really happen or whatever. And I remember you pulling me aside and being like, hey man, just like FYI, like, you kind of got to go with it. Cause if, if you say no, then like the scene stops. Right. And I was like, oh fuck, he's right again. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna start doing, I'm gonna start doing that. And apparently that's like a basic tenet of- Yes and. Yes and, yeah. of course. Actually, no actually a lot of people that, maybe no don't know this. So let, was, let's- was, <laughs> What? I said, of course, I don't remember you. that at all. Um, but no, a lot, a lot of people don't know this, but like that is, that, that is like, I think, I, and I never took an improv class either, but like, I think that is the number one rule in improv is that you're supposed to, you know, take whatever, because improv, you know, you yeah, don't know you what the other person's going to say. Like the uh, second you stop it and say no, the whole thing ends. Right. So you got to say yes and, and build. So the idea is to build upon what the other person's imagination. Speaking of that's, a, there's a good segue actually into this episode that we should talk about. And I think probably it's a really funny episode. There's a mm. ton of funny stuff. I there's really some stuff it. that we didn't continue doing, like where we stay with the, the union guys and they're like, yeah. you know, they call us nerds or we kind of end with the cops being somewhat heightened, you know, mm-hmm. where they like look at the camera and they say like, that's politics, bitch. That happens. Yeah. But um, the improv that Glenn is doing where he's reading my speech, uh, I don't know if you recall this, but the, the props guy whoever it was, I don't remember who it was that season, but, and it might not have been the head props person, it might have just been like the props guy's assistant, wrote just something on a piece of paper, like a bad speech 
the, the joke was that you just couldn't read it. It didn't make sense. There was no actual reading of it that we scripted. And it's so damn funny what he wrote and your reaction to it that it's a good example of yes and where it's like, I don't know, you just have to be looking for those moments and then just run with them, right? Well, because it, uh, it wasn't scripted. I believe as scripted, it was you saying, just read the speech I wrote and me saying, I'm not going to read I'm not going to read the speech. Yes. And then the scene, I think, just ended with that. Yeah. Like, I'm not doing yeah, it. Something yeah, something like that. I'm not reading this. It doesn't make any sense. And then I think we just did one where it was like, and basically, I mean, a lot of the words that I say were written on that piece of paper. It's just that it was it was a more coherent speech. It was a bad speech, but it was coherent. And I made it as incoherent as possible. It's weird, though, that, uh, that people find that so funny because I don't ever, I've never found that funny. I, I've ne I've never really it's not understood the words why so much as your reaction to them. You like you yes. like you the fact that you're reading. You can't believe that you're reading such bad. bad I writing. just remember very distinctly the the speech ending with "and so do." Yeah, is that the you final know what? line? But there's no yes. end. It's just "so do." So do. Oh yeah. I thought it was "and <laughs> so do" as well, but I think so maybe I. the blooper is "and so do." Well, oh, oh, and what's in the cut? I also remember being behind the monitors for that, and Charlie is laughing hysterically. Oh, yeah. He's right. laughing in the, in the, in the episode. We, we didn't have any other option. We didn't <laughs> yeah. have any other option. Had to sometimes, go look, sometimes I laugh. Well, Glenn, we've established that you are the host of the show. Could you, what, yeah. what should we do next? Um, well, I, so so here, this is a little awkward, or maybe it isn't. I don't know. I, I always write notes on my phone when I watch the episode, right? Like if I have questions mm -hmm. I want to ask you guys mm -hmm. or things I want to talk about or whatever. It looks like I'm just looking at my phone in the in the video, but you know, just know, uh, listener, watcher, <laughs> watcher, you fucking creep, uh, that when I'm looking at my phone, that's great. That's great. <laughs> just insult the <laughs> half insult the audience. The Apparently, half the audience watches a podcast. Okay, and you've just called them all creeps. Cool. I did have a question for you guys. Did mm. you guys have uh, garbage pail kids when you yes. were when you were kids? Yeah, yeah did you there, did you there was one specific kid who turned me on to them and he ha and he lived like alone with his dad and his dad was a fisherman so he was on the water all the time so basically this kid was just like on his own it's <laughs> just with his garbage and, bail kids yeah and and he had a bunch of really good shit because i you know i think it's one of those situations where like the dad feels bad that like he's just never there and the mom's not in the picture so he's just like here's like that like redmond the robot robot he had that robot oh he had he friends those were his friends <laughs> yeah. The garbage pail kids and the robot were his yeah, friends. Yeah, oh. yeah. And he had garbage pail kids. And he turned me on to the garbage pail kids. And I was like, these are the greatest thing uh, ever yeah. for like a month. Yes. And then you're like, yeah, I'm over them. The gum's real dry. Yeah. You know? Was there gum? I never had any. I had friends who had them, but I never got them myself. But I did the enjoy them. It's just like a real dry, sometimes flaky gum mm. falls apart. Like in the baseball card? Yeah, like thing. the baseball yeah. card. I was definitely into them. I love. I love them. You, did you I have a collection we of them? The, we were all in the sweet spot. Yeah, you, yeah, we yeah. were in the sweet spot, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. I no, collected I, baseball cards too. Oh, you did. Yeah. Did you ever get any good ones? Yeah, but then you know that that, that was some bullshit. The, mm. Like where you'd get the magazine and it would tell you how much each card was worth. Yeah. And then you'd be like, "All right, I got the Ken, Ken Griffey rookie card, and I'm gonna, yeah. and yeah. it says it's worth twenty bucks. I'm gonna go to the store, <clears throat> and they're gonna give me twenty bucks for it because it says it says that's what it's worth in the book. Yeah. And then you go to the comic books store, and they'd be like, ah, "I'll give you." No, like, that's what we sell it for. Yeah, that's We're what we sell pawn it for. Pawn shop right? Mm -hmm. And I honestly think that that is what eventually like collapsed that entire market because people were like, "Well." Fuck it! If you're not, I, I'm, you're selling it to me for that, but you're not buying it back, right? And then I, that was it. I until still until recently, a, when it came back, it, did it come back? Oh well, yeah, I, I got myself Ricky Henderson rookie. Nice, Ooh. traded it. No, Carl still traded have it. My buddy Carl traded it to me for a couple couple things. We, we he, discussed this before, but I'm sorry, I'm Ricky was my no, favorite no, player. He was no. my favorite player. <laughs> yeah, so. that's. I just said we that's discussed okay. this before. I, no, but I know, but that's, that's different. acknowledging that we've discussed it. Yeah, before. and by the way, do your thing. I I don't even worry about it. Ricky Henderson, thanks for your permission. Dad. Ricky <laughs> Ricky <laughs> Henderson. Little known fact, Ricky Henderson, or maybe this is a widely known fact, I don't know, speaks of himself in the third person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Ricky does this and Ricky does that. Yeah. Ricky doesn't do this. Mm -hmm. Ricky does that. Ricky wants that. Ricky will be there. Ricky's what is here. that? Is that when you become so like famous it, or popular or or loved that you also start separating yourself from like separating your 
persona from the real you and so you start referring to yourself in the third yeah, person when you, you have the stolen base record you're like normal things don't apply to me anymore i gotta i gotta heighten this you know yeah so ricky ricky gonna start doing this and ricky gonna start doing that i used to have dreams that like i would be like at the park and like ricky would show up and be like hey you want the catch I'm like yeah man i was really into him had a giant poster he was my guy uh i always hated baseball i have a good baseball card story Rob, are you going to shut it down or should I tell it? <laughs> Rob, did you want to shut it down or are you going to take the note? It's really, it's really a stolen bike story. And like, a, like most of my stories, not a good story. It's going to fizzle out at a certain point. But <laughs> I, my buddy Chris, I got a new, I got a new bike. It was a, a Redline. And which was like a cool BMX bike. I put it together myself. That was the brand? Redline? Yeah, Redline. I built it. It wasn't like a mongoose Redline. No, the brand was Redline, yeah. I don't remember that. It, okay. They were like, I, I got it out of a BMX magazine. I like sent Ooh. away for it. I, got, I put all the parts, parts together and I built the thing, which I, I didn't build shit, but I built this. Did you have pegs on the back? Uh, I did have, yeah, I had some pegs Sweet. on the back, of course. All right. And so I'm at uh, my buddy's house and, with, and one of my friends, Chris, he's like, hey, can I take your bike to the baseball card store? I'm like, yeah, go ahead, man. Pop, hops on my bike, goes to the baseball card store, comes back. Hey, dude, bad news. Uh, bad somebody, news. <laughs> somebody stole your bike. And I was like, he's like, I think we saw them. I think like we're around the corner. So we we got a machete out of, <laughs> out of, out of like his a garage machete. or my garage. I can't remember where we got the machete, but we got a machete. I got my machete and got, I'm like, you know, 11, 12 <laughs> on the back of like a, some other kid's bike on the pegs, rode down in the baseball card store, you know, got off looking for the kids and then got a little nervous that the cops had seen me with a machete. So I, bur yeah. I buried the machete in some leaves so I could find the kids and then I don't know what the plan was. <laughs> <laughs> then go get the machete. But, uh, you know, nothing happened, man. I didn't get, the bike's gone forever. Hey, if you stole a red line bicycle in, uh, yeah. on Broadway, right outside the baseball card store and- Fess up. Newport, Rhode Island, in uh, what, probably like 1989, 88. Wow. There's a machete on, waiting for you. There's a machete waiting for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's I will right. hack you to bits. <laughs> Have you guys gotten this comment on your social media where people are like, oh, the show's gotten too political? I used to love this show, but it got too political. Well, it's always been political. You know, it's not that we take a particular stance on anything. As a matter of fact, we try not to. We try to kind of skewer both sides of any argument. But the show's always dealt with politics. I mean, it's always, always, always. And I, so for those people who are like, eh, it's getting too political. It used to not be political. Well, this whole episode's about politics. Is, is this the episode where we say, uh, who am I going to vote for? Republican uh, yeah. blasting it's all me in the ass? Or, blast. Yeah, it's all one big ass blast. Yeah. 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 That That's, holds up. This still feels the same. Although I don't think people feel the same. I think people are more dug. Well, Oh Dug boy, in. we could talk about politics. We could actually talk about politics. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> There's other podcasts for that. There's other podcasts. Yeah. Uh, Glenn, as host, um, what's next? Well, <laughs> I also feel like the host should be like, there's not, you know, where's my water, Glenn? Oh, well, the, well, the host doesn't bring you. You don't go to Kimmel and he presents water for you. I think Kimmel would be very embarrassed if there was no water for me. <laughs> well, that's a... He would be humiliated. But he wouldn't be the one to bring it. Why don't you bring, I brought my water. Well, actually, well, you he brought, brought my water. He brought your I brought your water. water. Yeah. I could, oh, there's only so many hands I had coming in. <clears throat> I had to rely on you, rely on other people. Yeah. I got a question for you, actually, yeah. um, mm. that I that occurred to me. Yes. So there's the scene. Yes. Yes. Go. Um, there's a scene in the back office where uh, you pull me in the back office uh -huh. and you try to talk me into, do you know where I'm going with this? I liked the scene. I don't know yeah. where you're going with okay, it, okay. but I, I liked it a lot. So you, you're trying to talk me into firing Frank as the, by the way, I, I do love in this episode also, let me point out that that like how, how quick, it's such a rapid, it's just rapid fire betrayal. You know what I mean? Like literally people get yeah. betrayed, like there's like seven betrayals in yeah. in 20 minutes. It's, yeah. it's really, it's really quite extraordinary. Um, but this is, you're trying to talk me into firing Frank as my campaign manager and and hiring you as my campaign manager. And you went into this way of speaking in this rhythm and everything. And if I'm not mistaken, at the time, I remember you telling me that it was sort of inspired by, it was like a, a not a direct imitation of, but inspired by 
uh, Jack Lemmon's performance as Shelley the Machine Levine yeah. in Glengarry Glen Ross. Yeah, Am I like, correct? Like, Am I remembering uh, that correctly? Yeah, like desperate, like, ah, come on, man, I gotta eat. I gotta eat, <laughs> yeah. you know? I'm yeah. older than you. Like, you yeah, know, I'm older. Yeah. He's got lots of little threats. Yeah. Uh, but by the way, threats. for those of you who have not seen Glengarry Glen Ross, uh, I believe it came out in 1992. Amazing film. Um, great play, but like they made a film and it's incredible. Uh, what other feedback did you get? <clears throat> What do you mean? Uh, just in general? Yeah. I don't read a lot. I, I, I am pretty good about not reading a lot of comments on the internet. I like, I, I, I like it. I find that it's not healthy for me. I like, I'm able to uh, take the good and the bad. Um, I, I, I will say that probably if it was a preponderance of bad feedback, I probably would stop. But most of it's good. Um, so the occasional bad feedback, I actually really enjoy. I think it's really, I think it's really funny. And sometimes I'm like, yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. Yeah. Sure. So you can learn a little. I, I can learn a little bit from it. Did, I, I did, did you think Emma was right? Yes. Mm. And and I, I did. I did. I did. Half right. Um, but you half understand. Right. Now, hold on a second. I got to. I, let's let's relitigate this for a second. There was one particular episode she's probably commenting on where it did seem really interesting. Whatever. I can, I think probably you were going to say. And and. You shut it down, but it was, it's funny. I'm like, you know, told you know. us this story. You've told us this. And I did. I don't know why I didn't say this in the moment, but I'm like, it's not, I'm not telling you. I'm acting like I'm telling you. Totally. Thank you, Megan. You did say. These aren't for you. Oh, yeah, I did say it. Yeah, yeah, I did say it. Okay. Well, yeah, no, you I, you've yeah. already said that. Okay. So you've Emma, already Emma's, done this Emma's, very thing. Emma's I note is your that. note. Emma's, Emma's note, note is your note. note. It's not a good note. It's, I mean, yeah. It's a good note. It is a good I, note. It's not that I don't want to hear the story again. I think it's fun to watch. I get it. Yes. Us not remember things. The way, our our the brains way, deteriorate. The way it is presented could be misconstrued as you saying, you don't need to tell this story because I've heard it before mm -hmm. you know it, it could be misconstrued that way although i agree i don't think that is your intention um uh, again just a but you know an example of uh you know rob's tendency to not yes and but to know why yep no why <laughs> um <laughs> uh, did you guys notice did you get well you didn't because you didn't watch the episode but charlie did you notice that you still had the uh the hitler's german shepherd painting in your in your oh apartment no i didn't pick up on that yeah, yeah 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 i thought that was i thought that was kind of fun when did we lose that after season two i think what happened was we took a lot of people were commenting was it like distracting no we felt like it was distracting we, we were in the editing room and yeah. it was in the background of every yeah, shot it was oh, us nuts. Nuts. That's what like, it was. Yeah. so distracting yeah. this stupid yeah. german shepherd painting so we took it down i think after season two or maybe three i think we yeah you know but good on us for like remembering that when we did the uh and then we wrote a whole that? thing for it in like yeah, season eight I remember your story. I'm, I'm thinking yeah. of your story. Kill the Holocaust? Hello, Spain. Ridiculous. <laughs> I, I do like episodes where I get to do some kind of heightened thing. Like this one, like the show, yeah. Machine Levine or that, or uh, the one where I get smart and I have the cane. I don't know yeah. why. Yeah. More of that. That's fun. But if it was that all the time, it'd get old. It'd be goofy. It'd be yeah, too goofy. It but it, it is fun. It's, 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 a, it's a, yeah, it's yeah a we weird. have an ability to make them all feel different. <laughs> Which is cool. That's not like the same heightened character over and over and over. That's again, true. Which is cool. That's yeah. True. You, you never know where it comes from, you know. Um, I I, I oh, seem I'm stretching. To... I'm so stretching. In this episode, so we we talked about this before, but I can't remember if it made the podcast cut. Okay. Okay. And that was that, as I recall, the first scene we ever shot with Danny DeVito was you and Danny in the parking garage. You guys disagreed and said that it was something else. But I but let me throw this out there. I do remember that the first scene that Caitlin ever shot with Danny was the scene right before they go into the comptroller's office to try and solicit a bribe, you uh -huh. know, using a D, trying to, you know, suss her up. And I think the first scene they ever shot together, that Caitlin Olsen and Danny DeVito ever shot together, was the scene where he's... You know where she says she's stuffed in. She yeah, feels like she's right stuffed in there that. like a jerk or whatever. That might be right. Yeah, that yeah. feels right. Uh, yeah, and I, I which I, would mean that that we shot that in the. Hey, my brain's working here. Mm -hmm. uh, we shot that at LA Center Studios. Correct. Mm -hmm. So the I think the parking garage was the LA Center Studios parking garage. Correct. So it is possible. I oh, do, but so was probably the hospital it, set yeah, that the we shot, the which is the scene that Rob was. and I think that's was in the, That's in the lobby. Which one is of that? the LA Center Studios uh, on oh. like floor two or three? 
And we also reshot that scene. Mm. We yes, did. we did. Yes, we did. Yes, so the scene, that, that, yeah, one of the few yeah. things we've reshot. We've reshot a couple things, but it's yeah, rare. We thought that was an important one. Oh, shit, right. That was the one that you said was, yeah, I don't know, maybe. But I do, here's, what, here's why I think the parking garage scene was the first one. And if it wasn't the first, it was one of the first scenes we ever shot with Danny. Is the is because I distinctly remember filming that scene and not being in the scene and being behind the you know the monitors and thinking that I had a note to give to Danny and thinking I feel like this you know I'm this like kid in his twenties like giving film yeah. legend Danny DeVito yeah, a how note. do you give him a note how do you give film legend Danny DeVito a note like and I didn't know him that well at that point you know at that point he was just like the weird guy who told the teeth and you know and it's funny like you, teeth and watches story he's both super open to a note or whatever totally. but depending on who from well that's like, the thing he like, likes any... a note from the three of us he's fine he, he's mm -hmm. like yeah whatever i'll try this try that but sometimes a guest director tries to give danny a note and it's like Ooh. no yeah which is fair it's a test he's got to know that 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 what you're gonna give him is gonna make it better or have the potential to make it better like and he's now learned after years of working with us that you know it usually it's a good note it's worth trying I remember um, FX not loving this episode. Hmm. I remember, a really? yeah, I remember a specific feedback, which they were like, you know, it's it's good enough. Obviously, we're not going to like not air it, but we don't we don't love this direction for the show. I don't remember specifically why, huh. but I do remember that. Hmm. Uh, but you know, <clears throat> uh, maybe maybe because it's it's very sort of plot driven. It's not it's not. I mean, it, it reveals character, right? Because it reveals, like, you know, your like my vanity. You know, <laughs> I do love. Or maybe it's the same it. thing that we picked up on, which eventually we we're like, it doesn't quite feel right to stay with with the ancillary characters, yeah. and yeah, maybe it was that. Who knows? We were still finding it. I mean, yeah, I think it, may, it probably just felt sillier in some way too, because yeah, like instead of the world being crazy, we were presenting characters that were that were right extreme and the world was we were kind of stuck in the normal world and then once you start building that kind of stuff out then it, be, then it then seems the like the world is crazy, crazy yeah, and it seems like more looney tunes the, yeah. right but then I, in season three which we'll get to we got bonkers oh well, yeah we then went the characters were the ones that were bonkers yeah. not the yeah not the outside world we went a little nutty nuts in, in season three but uh, we'll it was a lot that. of fun but uh, I, I do say like i did really enjoy um one thing that i think we do continue to do which i love is we go very quickly from like ooh, we should one of us should run for office to solicit a bribe very quickly to like oh no i think i could actually win this <laughs> To to very quickly, you know, starting to betray each other, but more more interestingly enough, like focusing on totally the wrong things. You know what I mean? You, it becomes yeah, who's going to get to use the clipboard? Who gets to use the clipboard? Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Like you being like, I'm the campaign manager. I get the clipboard. You being like, give me the clipboard. And then well, that's like the thing you said about the show becoming about the limes. Mm -hmm. Like it became yeah. about the clipboard. Like yeah. And for me, it's about the blazer, right? Do I yeah. get a, Do I get to wear a blazer for this? Just being excited to wear a blazer and mm -hmm. like being almost entirely focused on. The fit of the blazer, you know, more yeah. than, you know, soliciting a bribe or actually win. It's like, it, you know, and I do, that is something that we have continued on the show that I, that I very much enjoyed. There's a funny sound. Focusing sa on the wrong thing. Funny sound thing that we did, Rob. Uh, you won't remember this because you didn't watch the episode, but um, <laughs> where we, where you're trying to stop a baby carriage. You want, you oh, want, yes. you want Glenn to kiss this baby. <clears throat> you're in a mall and you should watch it. Um, it's, and, it's good. It's funny. It's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's, it's pretty good. Um, and this woman's like, no, nah, no thanks. I don't think I want this guy to kiss the baby. And you keep stopping the, the, yeah, the baby called? carriage. carriage? Mm -hmm. yeah. Stroller. Yeah, stroller. Stroller, yeah. It's been a minute. Yeah. <clears throat> stopping the stroller with your foot. Pram. And each time we're adding a nice mm -hmm. little, eek, you know, little, eek. yeah, we added a sound eek. effect of your foot, like, <laughs> like stopping it each time because there was no sound in the thing. And we just, we found it very funny. Like you were doing this funny, like little foot turn thing, yeah. which was very amusing. And it works. We get, you know, we got a. That was the scene where uh, where I'm doing George Bush hands. Yeah, right? yeah, those, like are, this. those are really good. George Bush hands. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's yeah. Bill Clinton did that too. But that's oh, a, Clinton was that's like a common... thing. This used to be the way that we communicated with, uh, yeah. with the public. Because that's was, right. It's it was, unoffensive. It was I'm not gonna point my finger, but I'll no, point no, the no, tip of my thumb at you. Yeah. <laughs> that's that. That's not a. That's no good. That's no good. This is this. Uh, now we're, we're, for the people who aren't watching on the video, this when you're saying this, it's yeah. it's like a little thumbs up, but not a full thumbs up. Right, right. It's just like a little pointed thumb that. And it's not. Top it's, your not fist. it's not a point. No, no. And it's not a fist. It's not a fist. No. 
No, right? I don't it's want a, to emphasize the fist. The thumb makes the, the thumb fist makes, okay. The yes. tip of that thumb yeah. says, I'm not scared of this fist. And it's, <laughs> you and took it's, that thumb in, and man, you're just pointing a fist at me, and you're saying, right. oh, I don't know. That was, you, I mean, so you know that like that was like a curated gesture. Yes. That was somebody that somebody said like I want to be able to shopped. Oh, 100%. yeah. Somebody was like was like doing a lot of this, and they were like, uh -huh. well, this feels like you're out of control, mm -hmm. right? This feels like you're angry. Mm -hmm. This is too accusatory. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you just do, mm -hmm. if you just do the tip of your thumb there, this has been uh, studied scientifically. If you just did and the don't tip. say guys, you gotta say folks. Say folks. That's yep. that applies folks. to everyone. That's safe. Don't That's say right. guys and girls and and. Uh, uh, and just the tip of your thumb there, just a little tip. See, just now that that's too much tip. thumb. That's a thumbs up. Okay, get it Can't in. Give yourself a thumbs get up. Get that thumb in. Okay, you're getting it too high again there, Bill. It was Bill, right? Who went it first? I, I, I believe Clinton was the one I remember. Oh, most. Do you think Clinton. he stole it from Bob Dole because Bob Dole had, well, like, a Bob Dole had, had, a, had, he had like a palsied hand, yeah. right? So but he always had a pen in it. Yeah, I yeah, guess he stuck so. a pen in there, so, so it looked like it, he was he was, was doing, doing this something. on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah he and wanted then, it. Yeah, you know, Bill was like, "Well, gee whiz, that's pretty sweet. I've <laughs> got that pen in there." Uh, and they're like, "Bill, you can't also have a pen." He's like, "He's got a pen. I should have a pen." And it's like, "What? Just what about the tip of your thumb there? Maybe that's what, what if it was. you're doing that, but you don't have a pen? You have an invisible pen. That's what yes. it is. Two invisible pens in your hand." <laughs> This is, That's how, the direction. this is how we'll communicate with the public. Two invisible <laughs> pens. <laughs> well, what do I do with my dick? What do I pick? What about put? Where do I put uh, my we dick? We would prefer you keep that to yourself. <gasps> oh, impossible! But why did I become Just president? Just purely. <laughs> why did I become president? I became uh, president. You make a fair but, point, but, Mr. President. So why did uh, I become president? Uh, <laughs> if you could just keep it in your pants to four to eight years, uh, four to eight years, you keep your dick in your pants four to eight years. <laughs> I'd like to see you try that. <laughs> Okay, well. well, we're all doing it, sir. Uh, oh my God! Well, you have the president. That's mm, true. Yeah. Yeah. Another another unscripted uh, moment in this episode was uh, you smashing the videotape at the end. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, oh, and also like the the, oh, the, like, head, the head the head thing, thing. we're doing. I, yeah. yeah, I don't remember where that. I don't remember how that started, but I think it was just in that one take, and it was uh, it was very funny to me. Um, I found it very funny when you just go back to reading your paper and you just say like, yeah, because I'm, I'm not doing it or whatever. Very casually. Yeah, so casual. Yeah. Like as casual as could be, like basically telling you that like, I, I, I'm, I'm not doing it anymore and I don't care that it's ruining your life <laughs> and that you lost your stupid garbage The episode kids. works, you know, it yeah. holds up. It's funny. I'm, I, I like I'd it. be happy for anyone to see that and not embarrassed by it or anything. Absolutely. I haven't seen it, so I, I won't comment on that. <sighs> when I, was believe, I believe this, uh, this podcast episode has been fun. Listen, what? I think... I think you have to watch it. Okay. Because I do think part of yes, getting to the end of this is that we have all rewatched every single episode we've, we've done and sort of analyzed them. And even if we're not discussing it live in this thing, yep. just watch it because I don't, you know, when we get to the end of it, we're like, well, we watched some of them, not all of them. 100%. So right. Rob, 100%. you're getting a lot of good feedback from us today. Uh, about your this performance. This positive feedback. About your performance on the podcast and sort of what's expected of you. Okay. Um, are you the taking question it is, in? Am I going to implement this? Are you going to implement it? Do you feel? Are you open to this feedback? Are you? Uh, do you feel as though you're being dictated to? Because uh, I know you like to be in charge, and sometimes you know, you're not. Okay. So what's the question? Are you? Are you? Are you accepting our Glenn, feedback? Try it with your thumb. Oh, sorry. <laughs> are you able to take this feedback Mary, and accept it? Mary, because how do those thumbs make you feel? No. Why? <laughs> 